Treating physicians' internal inconsistencies in medical records dooms fibromyalgia policyholders' claim. One of the most common claim denial tactics in cases, and particularly fibromyalgia cases, is for the carrier to look for inconsistencies between the physical exam findings and the restrictions and limitations assigned by the treating physician. What the carrier will say is, look, if the exam findings are essentially normal or not in a proportion to the complaint, then they're going to say, we don't believe the restrictions and limitations assigned by the doctor. The disability carrier is looking for an objective basis for the restrictions and limitations assigned by the treating physician, and that can be hard to do in a fibromyalgia case. And that's exactly what happened in the case of Blackburn versus Life Insurance Company of North America. Let me tell you about this case because I think that you can learn valuable lessons if you have, a, a, if you have fibromyalgia and are claiming benefits. Now Blackburn was a software developer performed sedentary work, just like I'm doing sitting here. They stopped working because of fibromyalgia, degenerative disc disease, chronic pain, migraines, and depression. He filled out activity of daily living forms. He indicated that he had severe neck and back pain that prevented him from sitting behind a computer for more than a few minutes, and he claimed he had to change positions every hour. Now he applied for and he was denied his disability insurance benefits. Ultimately, the case ended up in court. And the court said, look, your medical records are internally inconsistent. Your doctors have reported a set of restrictions and limitations, but your physical examinations were essentially normal. The frequency and level of treatment is inconsistent with the degree of your claimed impairments. Now I have to tell you, disability carriers use liar for hire peer review doctors. That's the, their job, is to give the carriers uh, opinions that will result in a claims denial. And in this case, they had a pain management uh, review and a neuropsych review. And these two doctors called the treating physician's opinions to get clarifications, and there was no cooperation. Now, I think several lessons are learned here. One is that you should be writing a letter to your treating physicians saying, don't take a call from the carrier, and that any question be put in writing. The second thing you should be doing is writing a letter to the carrier saying, my doctor is not going to take a call from your peer review doctors. We want the request for information to be in writing and we want it to be copied so that we can follow up. And the other lesson to be learned is that you should probably get a functional capacity evaluation, which is an objective measure of a person's uh, capabilities and which can be correlated uh, based on the physician's opinion with the nature of the complaints, uh, any positive physical findings, and the results of the FCE. In my view, it takes a team to get your fibromyalgia disability benefits. If your claim has been denied, contact me today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation. I can help you get the disability insurance benefits you deserve for your fibromyalgia, regardless of where you live in the United States. Call today, 727-894-3188.